Welcome back to Pure Data tutorial series and after exploring the counting up and down routine, now we're exploring something to cycle between a given range. And for this we need the modular object, which you remainder, uh, remind, gives you the reminder of a division of two numbers. So 8 divided by 3 will be resulting in 2, because that's the remainder of 2 times 3, 6, and then next division will give you a remainder of 2. So in this case you can say simply modulo 8 for example and if your feed is a number then modulo will output a nice cycle of remainders which is only a cycle between 0 and 7 no matter what you feed in there and that's the easiest and fastest way to cycle between numbers which you will need quite often and if you want to make it 1 to 8 instead of 0 to 7, it's super easy. Just add 1 and then of course you can cycle between 1 and 8. This is very handy for example if you want to do something like sequencing or um, repetitions and then you can just for example um, double structures and say modulo this is 3 and now you can just have two parallel value loops running up and down. And of course you can add or combine this with the structure of counting up and down. That's quite common. So we want to feed in this here and the output into the code inlet. And then we need a, a bang button for oh, counting up. And now for example, you can just count up all the time and then you see what is happening here? You see the counter is running up and down, but those values below are cycling nice and tidy in patching between 1 and 8 or 1 and 3.